showmethecurry.com. I'm Hethel. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you how to make chicken kofta curry. Now this sounds really complicated, but it's a very simple recipe and it's a great party dish. So let's get started. So for our chicken kofta curry, we have a medium sized pot here and we have two tablespoons of oil in here. We're going to heat it on medium heat. Over here we have a quarter teaspoon of cardamom seeds. So either you can get powdered cardamom or you can powder it at home. So basically this is what cardamom looks like, green cardamom. All we did was we just pounded it here so it's easier to peel off and you just uh, pound the seeds. And to this we're going to add three cloves. And we just grind it in a mortar pestle. It's nice to do this beforehand because sometimes in your food you don't want to bite into a whole piece of clove <laughs> or a whole piece of cardamom. And our oil is hot. So to this we're going to add about approximately one inch piece of cinnamon stick, one bay leaf. So if you notice the cinnamon stick is actually opening up and uh, that's a good sign. That means that uh, a lot of the flavor from it is releasing into the oil mm -hmm. and we're ready for our powdered spices. Right, so this is the cardamom and the cloves powdered and immediately after that you're going to add in one medium onion. So you're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt just to have, get the cooking going a little faster. And we'll mix this well and we're going to let it cook until a lot of the moisture evaporates and the onions start turning a nice golden color. So while that is cooking, we're going to prep our uh, meat for the koftas. Our koftas are basically like meatballs. So here's a pound of uh, ground chicken. Now you can substitute it for any other meat of your choice. You can use turkey, beef, lamb. lamb. Yep. So basically we have about a pound over here and to this we're going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon of garam masala. And garam masala is a combination of a lot of spices, red chili powder to taste and salt. But we're going to put very little salt because we're going to be adding it to the gravy also and the chicken tends to absorb a lot of salt from there so we'll put very very little in here. And I'm also going to add in just a few sprigs of cilantro that I've chopped. Just uh, this is an optional step, but it gives a very, you know, good mild flavor. It doesn't take anything away from the chicken flavor. And we'll also break in an egg. Now I'm continuously stirring our onions just to make sure they don't burn. Everything is mixed in well here, and uh, I just so you know, advice a piece of advice. This is the step that you should actually be doing first. So before you get the onions going and your curry going, have this done. Put it in the refrigerator, and let it marinate, and then start working on the gravy. Meanwhile, this is all marinated and ready to use once your gravy is ready. So the moisture has evaporated from our onions, and they're starting to turn just a little bit of color. At this point, we're going to add one tablespoon of ginger and garlic minced and let it cook for a couple of minutes. So over here, we have um, two tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, medium-sized tomatoes that we've just food processed. But uh, here's a little trick. Uh, you know, it's, it's great to use fresh and we try to use fresh whenever possible. So we are going to be using this. But you know, somehow fresh tomatoes don't have that intense color that you want in your gravy, and especially this curry, you want it to have that red color. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat just a little bit. We're going to use one tablespoon of tomato paste. So now what this will do is it will intensify the color and be fabulous. So this is all ready to go once that's done. done. This is done. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is you're going to add in the paste first because it will help mix it a little better. And once it's mixed, we can add in the fresh tomatoes. And we'll also add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. And mix this. We're going to cook now until the oil starts separating from the whole mixture. So our tomatoes and tomato paste have cooked down really nicely. The oil is separating here and it's all clumped together, so it's a good sign it's ready to go. 
And to this, now we can add a few more spices. Two teaspoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon garam masala, all to taste, and mix. Now I'm going to reduce the flame to just about a simmer right now. Mm -hmm. Now by reducing the flame, first of all, the, the dry spices will not burn. And the second thing is what goes in next, it's yogurt. Anytime you're adding yogurt into a hot pan or a pot, you need to get the flame down to a simmer so that your yogurt doesn't curdle and just lump up. So I've got one cup of yogurt over here, plain yogurt, and I'm just mixing it. And I'm going to add it in very slowly. And while I'm adding it, Hethel's going to keep mixing it. See, if you temper the yogurt, meaning adding a little at a time and gradually bringing up the temperature, mm -hmm. it doesn't curdle. So mm -hmm. that's an important step because if it does curdle, then yeah. it's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. And I have uh, approximately two and a half cups of uh, water over here. So we're going to add to that and form the gravy. Now the consistency of this is honestly up to you. But we have to add in the koftas and they have to cook. And the koftas will absorb... Uh, a lot of the moisture and a lot of the water and slowly I'm going to add the two and a half cups. And I'm going to also increase the temperature to medium again. Mm -hmm. And once it's mixed we're going to cover it and let it come to a boil. And our mixture is come to a rapid boil. It smells great. Give it a stir. Mm, look at the color. Before you add the the kofta is in there, you can give it a taste test and make sure the salt, your spices, you know, everything is balanced and great for you. So now I'm turning our stove up to medium high mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that this mixture maintains a rapid boil. And here I have the, the ground chicken. I'm just going to give it another very good mix. And all you have to do is take a little amount, depending on how big you want your koftas, and gently drop it in. So one of the tricks is to use some water. What you do is you dip your hands in water and when you pick up the chicken, it doesn't stick to your hands. And gently drop it in. And be sure you leave these uh, koftas alone and that way they kind of seal their shape in there. Mm -hmm. No touching. <laughs> and just try and spread them out a little bit and try and keep uniform size. And this should give you a good idea that you want something with a little bit of depth because otherwise, uh, if your koftas are not submerged, they'll be, it'll be a little harder for them to cook. Now traditionally, these koftas are actually fried and then put into the gravy. But we're just, uh, number one, making our lives a little easier and hopefully staying a little healthier. Mm -hmm. so. Most important. <laughs> So once all the koftas are formed and in here, we're going to lower the temperature again to medium and we'll cover it and set our timer for 20 minutes and hopefully they'll be done. So our 20 minutes are up. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Wow. wow. It's smelling so good. <laughs> really, really awesome. And you know, they've really formed. All the koftas that we made are just, you know, packed together and nice, but you still have to be very gentle while mixing them. And if you notice, the liquid has reduced quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And these are great, you know, with, you can have it with rice, you can have it with chapatis, rotis, naans. Um, Heckle's husband had it with bread, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so any which way that's yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> they're really, really good. So all you need to do is just garnish with some cilantro. If you made your koftas very big and you're not sure if it's cooked all the way through, if you just like cut into it, you'll see it should not be pink inside. And it is ground meat and ground meat cooks really, really fast. So this is a great dish. If you're having a party, it's perfect to you know, make ahead yeah. and you can just heat it at the time of serving and uh, look at it. The presentation is amazing. It's beautiful. Looks like we put in a lot of hard yeah. work, didn't we? <laughs> so enjoy your delicious chicken kofta curry and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.